When you're looking for performance bottlenecks, the call tree and the hotspots views are the best tools for the task. They both show tree views, where the call tree is top down and the hotspots view is bottom up. However, there are other ways to visualize method calls that are better suited if you have a particular focus. One such view is the flame graph. In JProfiler, if you want to see a flame graph, you first go to the call tree view. Here we see the top of the call tree from the startup of the JClasslib bytecode viewer, which is a tool to visualize Java class files. Let's profile the action of opening a class file in that tool. We'll select one of the larger class files from the JRE. Before we confirm the dialog, we restart CPU recording so that the previous call tree is cleared. The tool has now read the class file and added a tab for it in its window. Let's go back to the recorded call tree. Again, we just see the top of the tree and must expand nodes to see deeper stack frames. Flame graphs give you an instant overview of the entire call tree. They still show a tree, only that all nodes are expanded in such a way that the maximum amount of screen space is used. To show a flame graph for this call tree, we invoke the show flame graph analysis. In the flame graph, calls originate at the bottom and propagate toward the top. Methods are placed on top of each other and their horizontal dimensions are proportional to their execution time. From left to right, child methods on the same level are sorted alphabetically. Of course, many of the method rectangles are too small to show the class and method names, so you can hover over them to display a tooltip with detailed information. Apart from package, class and method name, you can see the detailed numbers for the selected call frame. Just like in the details dialog in the call tree, a quick method analysis is shown as well. The subtree numbers sum all calls of this method in the column directly on top, and the all invocation column sums them for the entire tree. In this flame graph we see multiple call frame towers. This one is related to the dialog being closed. The middle towers are related to UI creation, and finally the tower on the left side here shows how the class file is being parsed. Let's say we are only interested in that phase of the action. To get a better perspective, we double-click on the first call frame of interest or select Set as root from the context menu. The call stack of the current root is shown at the top and can be inspected in a different dialog. To get a better overview of which packages are called, we can colorize the flame graph. For example, we can show all methods in the structures package in a different color. OK, so most displayed classes are in the structures package or its sub-packages. We can now color a sub-package differently, say the structures attributes package. Or the structures constants package. To inspect narrow towers, we can zoom the flame graph by holding the control key and turning the mouse wheel. We then get a horizontal scroll bar. We can zoom out again or use the scale to fit action at the bottom. It's also possible to colorize single methods. In general, you can match method signatures with a pattern and choose a custom color. To edit or remove colorizations, click on the Colorize Flame Graph button at the bottom of the view. The order of the colorizations is significant because the first match is taken. With the show previous root action, we can return to the display of the entire call graph. The colorizations are maintained and we can see that the colorized packages are also used during the creation of the UI. If you want to find a particular method, hovering over all methods would be really hard, so JProfila offers a search feature. Just start typing into the flame graph or use the find action. Say we're interested in how the stack map table attribute is read. We type stack map. 
The first found element from the bottom is highlighted with a green halo and the tooltip is displayed immediately below it. The match string is highlighted in green in the tooltip. We can cycle through all matches with the up and down keys. The flame graph is a call tree analysis, so it displays a snapshot of the call tree at the time it was calculated. You can reload the flame graph, remove the analysis, or pin the view if you want to calculate multiple flame graphs for comparing them. Finally, flame graphs are a great way of visualizing performance characteristics. To share a flame graph online or in a presentation, use the export to HTML feature. The HTML page will reference an image that you can use for this purpose. In presentations or discussions, showing a flame graph instead of a tree view can be helpful to convey an important point and capture the attention of the audience.